Hey man, it's your boys, you know Carter, coming back at y'all with another video. Now today, I'm gonna show you guys how to combine two great methods to make yourself a bunch of coins, bunch of training, and a bunch of candy, whatever you wanna make. Pretty much, if you watch my previous video on how to make infinite candy, and also if you watch my other video during the free agency promo on how to make infinite training, pretty much this method is a combination of the two. Now if you guys don't already know, the reason why they, the free agency method stopped working is because they nerfed the pack odds, so you only pull pretty much 87s and 88s out of those packs. But here's the thing, we can use that to our advantage now, because 87s and 88s go into the Chris Harris set, or any set that you want. They go into any set that you want, you can roll them into the 90 to 91 exchange sets, or 90 to 94 exchange sets, and then use that to build a master, and you can sell off the master. Now why is this good? Well, because of the color smash method, the infinite candy method, you can make infinite training. You can also make infinite training off of this method. I'm going to show you guys how. So once you make yourself 200k training off of this method, you switch over to the free agency method. And then you just make infinite coins. I'm sorry to get this video out a little late. I've been having a lot of issues with my, my software, guys. I explained it in my last video if you really want a detailed explanation about that. But I know what you guys are here for, so let's get into it. <clears throat> Mac, what's good, man? So, guys, what we do is we roll. I just wanted to interrupt this by saying, if you're confused by any specific part of this method, I have two separate videos on how to do each of the methods separately. So make sure you guys understand how to do both methods before you try this. The first video, the color smash method, which is what I'm doing right now, is called infinite candy method. I will have it in the card on the top right if you're wondering what I'm doing. And when I get to the free agency part, I also have that as a card as well. So make sure you're looking at the top right if you're confused. All right, thanks. We roll this 80, the color smash method until we get 60, 64,500 candy. That's when you want to stop rolling. Um, a lot of people are going to ask, oh, how much training do you start off with in the beginning? I'm going to say around 70,000 training is what you want to start off with. L Woodboy, appreciate the follow. Around 70,000 training is what you want to start off with. And then the rest of the training you want to make from this method. So look, we just got a beautiful pull right there. How do I find the Drake Discord? Uh, exclamation point, this or trade. We continue pulling till we get 64,500 candy. Hopefully we get it here, which we do. So we get 64,500 candy, right? So as soon as you do that, that means you can pull these 96 overall rerolls three times. So you pull these three times, right? See what all we get. Ice. All right, so we got our three pulls. So now we go over to our binder and we trade for what we need. We trade for what we need. Um, hopefully we don't need anything right now. Uh, we don't. We got ourselves a Zeke. Right. So pretty much you add the three. It, guys, this is pretty much the color smash method, but instead of rolling all your training down, the only difference is you just roll until you have 64,500 candy. Because instead of making infinite candy, now you want to make infinite trading. Uh, training. We get our we get our candy, we get our training, and now we get we get our uh, training back. So I just made around 11k training right there. That's pretty much all it is, guys. You want to just rinse and repeat that. All right, boys. So we're back. We're back. Um, so pretty much you keep rolling until you make 200k training. And as soon as you hit that 200k training mark, which we're about to hit right now, once we uh, open our pack, once you hit that 200k training mark, then you start the free agency method. If you don't know about the free agency method, I'll touch upon it now. You can follow along with what I'm doing. But if you want a detailed explanation of the free agency method, um, go to my last video. Um, it's called the infinite training method. So there we go. Now we got 250k training and now we can start rolling the free agency packs. Now, and for everybody asking what's the best way to cash out right now, it's definitely through these free agency packs because since you're making your training for free, everything you get out of this free agency pack, every, all the things you get out of this free agency stuff is completely free. So we're making free coins right now. 
So, we pull our free agency players. 89s do quick sell. So, let me tell you what they do. 87s and 88s go in. 87s, 88s, 90s go into the Chris Harris set. 89s are quick sold. 92s out of the pack are quick sold. 94s are quick sold. And 96s are kept. So, that's I'm going to say it again. 87s, 88s go into the set. Once you finish up... Once you finish up the Chris Harris set, then they go into the 90 to 94 exchange until you finish that. 90s also go into the set. 89s are quick sold. 94s are quick sold. 96s are kept. So you keep on rolling until you get three. Three of the heroes. Once you get three of the heroes, then you check the you go and you check the market to see which um which master is the most expensive? Right now, I think it's Joe Thuny, and it's not Jadavion Clowney. Jadavion Clowney is less expensive. So you put the you put the heroes into the Thuny set or whichever set is more expensive, and then um you sell the master and you quick sell the two nets. At, you get out of there. Oh, so here out of the reroll pack, there's things. There's, the reroll pack is a little bit different than the regular packs. So once you finish putting 87s and 88s into the rerolls. Once once you pull the 90 to 94 pack, if you get a 90, put it in put it in the set. If you get a 92, put it in the set. So if you pull a 92 from the pack, you quick sell it. If you pull a 92 out of here, you put it into the set. And 94s, all 94s you quick sell. Doesn't even matter. So yeah, guys, we'll check back in when we finish rolling. I might cut I might cut and uh cut and chop bits and pieces depending on the pulls. Um to show you guys what we do with all our cards. But we'll check him back later. But whatever goes for like 5k. <laughs> you don't know what you just started. Let's go, soul man. No. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be mixing the two. You shouldn't be mixing the two methods. You should be doing one at a time. So, and, and you, you can't, you can't even do the uh, exchange set. You need free agency players to do that set, so... You can't put Color Smash players in there. Now I have 135k training. Yes, sir. That's what happens. You spend 45k training on... Well, less than 45k training because you get back 34,000. Let's go. You get back uh, 34,000. And you get to sell that master. So you probably spent around like 20k training on a 98, which is insane. Out of the rerolls, you don't quick sell 92s. Should only need 200k to um, continue. Keep going. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Damn, I got no 90, so I have to quick sell that. Let's go. Let's fucking go. These packs are low, low key juiced right now. Should I buy 200k training or do five color, color smash, color smash, boys, color smash. The point, the point of the method is to use color smash to build free training, and then everything you do out of this free agency method is just straight profit, just straight profit. Because you made the free training though. If you're buying your training, this is not the best method. Quick sell 89s, yes sir. Low key, if we keep having pulls like this, like low key, we might be able to do this fucking master for no training. How much training should you get up to before you start the free agency part? 200k. Yes, sir. Yeah. He was too bad for my memory. I swear, that's my only memory. Ha ha. So funny, Zeno. Ha ha. Good one. Come on, we need a few 94 pulls. Worst timing, I have no weed. Yikes. Yikes. Hey, Marco. Shout out, Marco, man. Thank you for the raid, bro. Marco, what we on, baby? New chain. You feel me, Marco? God damn, bro. We finished. 
Hi, Key, bro. We finished two Chris Harris's for like 18K. Q, we waiting on your sub, baby. Can't say sub hype, bro. You can't do that. You gotta be a sub, dog. We waiting on your sub, Q. Oh. Oh. Marco. Marco motherfucking madness. You fucking madman. Yes, sir. Appreciate the sub, Marco. I'm, yo, congratulations to Q, man. Oh, oh, I didn't even realize what was playing, bro. I apologize, man. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Bro, we're about to... Bro, we're about to create the second Chris Harris for literally 16K training. Bro, we're literally about to fit... Yo, Marco, relax, bro. Marco. Marco, you got to relax, bro. You got to relax, man. Get the sub hypes going. Yo, congratulations, bro. Yo, Gav Savage Q, congratulations, man. Make sure y'all thank Marco, please, man. Make sure y'all thank Marco, bro. Marco, appreciate the hell out of you, bro. Every time I get the candy. Yeah, well, uh, Uzi, you don't. And Thuni's still expensive as hell, ain't he? Ain't he? 294, I'll take that. I'll take that. Sell them off for 294. Bro, we finished this set. We finished this set for like 40k training. We finished this set for 40k training. That's fucking insane. And we get the training back. How long it take to 200 get to 200k training? It depends on your roles. Depends on your roles. How are you making training from the candy method? You just, instead of rolling down all of your training, you just roll until you get 64,500 candy. And then you get the masters, you get the masters back and slowly you'll build your training up. You the real MP? Yeah, bro. Marco's dead ass a goat. Oh, go. I want in on the action? Yo, Plopper, appreciate you, man. Oh my god, you and Marco, dog, going fucking mad. Going mad, bro. You guys are bugging, man. Appreciate the hell out of y'all, man. I'm unfazed. I'm unfazed. I'm unfazed. Okay, boys, we're back after completing the set. As you guys have seen, we quick sold the Nats. We did the set. We only did the, bro, we we completed the set for around 50K training, which is actually pretty insane. And you can get even lower. You don't even need to have the rolls that I had. You can get even lower. If you pull a 96, you're almost guaranteed to do the set for under, under 70K training, which is crazy coins. So after you do this, you quick sell the Nats. You sell the Masters, so we got Joe Thuni because Joe Thuni was more expensive than uh, Jadavion Clowney. Oh, look. Perfect. Somebody just bought the two ones that were expensive. So we're going to put Thuni up for 300K or 304K, something like that. We'll put him up for 304,000. Um, let that go. Put his power up back up. And as you can see, we still have around 198,000 training. So what we can do is we can either keep rolling the free agency or we could build our training back up and keep doing the candy, candy smash, and build our training back up and just make even more coins. So that's what we're gonna do. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna roll the candy method. Once I get up to around 300K, I'll probably do it. I'll keep going back and forth. And guys, it's been your boy. That's how you make yourself some coins, candy, training, whatever the hell you wanna make. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go down below. Make sure you go down below, subscribe. Yo, if you made it to the end of the video, actually, drop an X-Gang in the comments again because I fucking love that name, man. Drop an X-Gang in the comments. That's what I'm calling you guys from now on. Y'all my X-Gang. Um, make sure you join the Discord down below if you want the uh, first access to all these methods because usually I stream these methods and this gives you not my Discord gives you notifications every single time I go live or post a video. So I appreciate the hell out of y'all. Make sure y'all drop a like. Make sure y'all subbed if you haven't already. And I'm out, bruh. Peace.